Hey y'all, some of you may have never had bison before, so hopefully you're excited to try this dish and therefore try something new. I know that some people actually shy away from ground meat, but I really like it for several reasons. It's usually pretty inexpensive, it cooks up pretty fast, you can use it in a lot of different ways, and it's an easy way to try new meats that you may not be as comfortable cooking with, like bison. Luckily, bison tastes a fair bit like beef, it's just a bit leaner. So if you've never had it, you'll probably find that you like it. Okay, let's get cooking. Begin by heating a little oil in a pan over a medium low flame. Add the onions and cook for 10 minutes. While the onions are cooking, bring a pan of water to a boil. Once boiling, add the sprouts and a pinch of salt. Cover the pan and bring it back to a boil. Once boiling for the second time, remove the lid and let it cook for five minutes or so until the sprouts are tender, meaning that a fork can easily pierce them. Then drain the sprouts and rinse with cool water. When the onions are done cooking, add the garlic and cook for another two minutes. Next, add the ground bison to the garlic and onions with a pinch of salt and pepper. Cook for 10 minutes, then stir and cook for another five to 10 minutes or until cooked through. Turn off the heat. Add a dash of balsamic vinegar and mix to combine. While the meat is cooking, turn the broiler on and line a baking sheet in foil. Spread the sprouts out on the foil lined baking sheet and use a fork to smash, smash each Brussels sprout as much as you can. Place the sprouts under the broiler for two to five minutes or until crisp to your liking. As always, be careful of the broiler and burning the veggies. Once the veggies and meat are done cooking, scoop half the sprouts and bison into a bowl and dig in. 